How's everybody doing? Philosophy once again, my people. Much love. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, today, I just want to talk to you guys about a few things um, regarding, you know, just the philosophy system and try to get you guys in, uh, you know, take you to that different realm. It's a realm where people are not there a lot. It's it feels so good to be there. It's so addictive to be there. That's why if, when you're not there, and if you, you know, it's like, if there's a balance, right? It's a realm where you gotta, you know, you you go there because that's who you are. That's where you're supposed to be. But if you don't have it, your life starts to crumble. And the more you don't have it, your life starts to crumble a little bit more. And that's the spiritual realm. You know, we hear about people having epiphanies uh, or certain, how can I say, certain experiences, spiritual, spiritual experiences, uh, more of that. You know, and we hear about these people all the time having these experiential, spiritual uh, experiences. And many call it different things, uh, depending many times on their experience. Uh, the most common way or the most common type of people that have these sort of experiences are people that, you know, have never been or been just a little spiritual throughout their life. It usually happens to people who who either have come to the brink of they can't stand their life anymore or they have, you know, just were at a certain place at a certain time where it just happened. And these experiences do occur. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people that follow philosophy has had this occur. And I've had, I talked about it a few videos ago about a, a beautiful um, DM that, that uh, a young lady sent me. Uh, her experience was beautiful. It, so so spiritual and I only gave you little bits and details and that's just to serve the purpose of you know letting you know that people do have these type of experiences and that these experiences when you hear about them it's not just that person that has them there's other people that have them as well and the way she described it to me is nothing compared to what I attempted to describe it to you guys in that last video I really didn't try to describe it I just tried to get you to understand more of that these type of things will happen but um, even you know even if my purpose was to go ahead and detail these experiences to you um, I wouldn't be able to because I didn't experience it so the experience that, that person had was it can can never even though it touched me even though it could have it could have touched me to limits that I couldn't even imagine I still wouldn't be able to to you know it's like you get in the second third hand it's not like the original right so um that 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 was the only purpose of that but the experience if I gave you the details you would actually tell me no seriously like no playing around it would actually tell me like hey man you you should definitely consider that some of, of of your followers you know may have a bent may be having mental breakdowns at some point maybe that's why they bumped into your video because they typed in how you know how positivity or positive thinking or whatever and they came across your video no, no this is not the first and it won't be the last person that comes to me with this type of DMs, this type of emails. I've gotten them. Philosophy has been going since 2016. I've got, I've gotten dozens of them, dozens of them. You know, uh, experiences that, you know, if that if you if somebody were to tell you these experiences, like. You would definitely say, well, this person probably belongs in a mental hospital, literally. But, um, you know, could they be telling the truth or could not they be telling the truth? I land more on they could be telling the truth. Uh, sure, maybe some things, you know, could have been, uh, you know, mis 
misrepresented or misinterpret whenever they had the experience. Uh, but that's irrelevant. The fact is that they had a spiritual experience. But I've had all types of people come to me with all different types of experiences and say, you know, it wasn't until, you know, that I came across your teachings that, <clears throat> you know, not only did I go ahead and became a Christian, not only did I go ahead and, you know, stop putting the pressure on myself, and living it up all to God, which is what he wants, which is how he designed us. Uh, think about it. The, the, the seven days of creation. If God wanted a servant, if God wanted us to go ahead and do the work, uh, why didn't he create us first? He could have created us first and had us do the work. He created us last. Remember the seven days of creation in the Bible? Who was the last? What was the last creation that he made? Even animals were created before us. We were the last creation. Why? Because God created us to be at rest. He wanted to go ahead and express love so deeply, so truly, that the only way he could do that was to go ahead and and you know, create us so he could show that love. So, you know, when he created such a beautiful thing, which is me and you, uh, man and woman, that is, you know, I've mentioned it many times, but in the Bible, whenever it talks about uh, when when God finished creating, creating Adam and Eve, uh, the word Barak was used, Barak. Uh, in the Hebrew, um, basically means not kneeling in worship, but sort of kneeling like in amazement because of such beautiful thing that is right in front of you. Like, oh my God, like, you know how people, whenever they see like stars or like, uh, these, these, these super famous people, they start crying out of nowhere. And by the way, if you if your spirituality is strong is if if you're if you're in that in that vibration in that in that righteous vibration uh that closeness to god vibration uh constantly you have so many people that you come across that that will literally just start crying in front of you because your energy is so big is so it's so strong it overwhelms them it gives them such an expression of, of, um, and it's not something logical. It's something emotional, spiritual. It gives them su such a, a um, an abundance of positive, good, righteous e energy that they needed so much that people will just start crying in front of you. But give you an example, like the 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 quote real famous people you know how you you've seen those videos they're in concerts or or they're in um <clears throat> they're in all these type of you know all sorts of places uh uh and they pass out <laughs> they pass out or they or they go ahead and um I just start crying like they can't believe it like if especially if they get close to the person or hug them um, I've heard of many experiences where people go to these, um, I don't know if they're called ashrams, basically this yogi or this spiritual teacher, uh, in Buddhism, Hinduism, whatever, um, they hold like let's say they hold a conference and and you know you ever seen you've seen those the the one they hold the conference and everybody's sitting on the ground no chairs just them sitting sitting down kneeling you know, not kneeling but with their legs crossed and just hearing the teacher you ever seen those right like the buddhism type of uh teachings i've heard of many instances and this i i, I so many that um I know it has to be true and that's that when they're around these people that have a very high positive energy 
they get overwhelmed and certain spiritual experiences happen there. They either start crying or they pass out or a, a, a thing that happens a lot is they all start laughing uncontrollably, like laughing uncontrollably. Um, another thing is that they feel certain weight lifted off them, like, and, and, and that causes them to go into tears. But these type of, of experiences, and they've been caught on camera, like people have actually, you know, if, if you've seen those, many people have catched them, um, in, in, um, in, in certain Christian, um, uh, churches uh that that's that speak the real true gospel S situations like that occur um one of the most things the, the most common things that happen is um and this usually happens a lot in churches and i'll tell you why more than quote these ashrams or sort of other religious places Chris, uh Christianism is the number one religion in the world. It's about to be taken over by Islam, right? But Christianity is the number one religion in the world. The majority of the population believes in a God, and the majority of the majority of people that believe in a God believe in Jesus, in Jehovah, in Jesus, and they believe that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. <clears throat> All types of, a lot of people, especially in like the Southern Belt, believe in the church life. Uh, for example, in Texas, um, I'm from Texas, so I'll tell you there and then, church is a big thing. It's a huge, big thing in, in Texas. Millionaires, billionaires, uh, people who don't have two cents to rub together, they all go to church. And even though they've committed criminals, everybody goes to church in Texas. It's like a thing. Church is very, it's, it's a very big thing in, in, in Texas. Football, college, college high school football, uh, football and, um, and church. Two, two of the, and guns. Three of the biggest things in Texas for Texans. And I'm a Texan, so I can tell you that. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of these people, they go to church, they grew up going to church every single Sunday. Um, just like my family, uh, said so my family was Catholic. It's the same Christianity, but we used to go to mass, uh, you know, on Sundays. And, um, so these are people that have, have a certain routine more of a routine of going to church on Sunday, um, from what I feel, than an actual ex spiritual expression. Because if you want an experience, experience, ex spiritual experience, if you want God to truly, really help you and to, to build that spirituality, everything else will come into play. All you have to do is fix your spirituality and everything else will fall into place. And for you to do that, you have to go ahead and be in the word is what we call it constantly, you know, and like every single day you have to, you have to go ahead and be in the word. You have to be plugged in, right? It's like a, a, a phone without battery life. You have to plug it in for a bit for it to fully charge. Once it's fully charged, then you could take it with you and it'll last a long time, but you have to come back and plug in, right? Um, one of the most common things that, that I've seen and that I keep hearing of, of it happening, and it may sound funny to you guys, but it's the real truth. People get this sense of sleep, of wanting to go to sleep. Some of them fall asleep in the church. Why? Yeah, I'm sure there's one or two persons there that literally were just tired because they parted the night before, but they still went to church. Um, you know, especially in the in the Latin community, that's that's one thing. You definitely party on the Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> 
Sundays if you're young and and Sundays but you're still you know you're if um you still live with your parents or or you have you know you have a habit that you go to mass with your entire family because after mass is 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 food and then so forth but um one of the most common things is is sleep and and this is true and I've seen it happen and it's not because one people are tired or two, because they think it's so boring, they just fall asleep. The reason it happens is because of the energy, the spiritual energy that is overwhelmed by the person hearing it. Why? Because for the first time in a very long time, their flight or their fight or flight system shuts down. For the first time in a long time, the nervous system is finally able to <sighs> calm down. So because it's been on fight or flight, adrenaline has been running through your body for, for quite a while, constantly. Cortisol has been, cortisone, I think it's called, has been running through your blood constantly. You know, you've been up, uh, awake, waiting for, for danger, like, for, so you can survive. That's the survival mechanism. But once you are in the word, in the real true gospel, then at that point, your nervous system relaxes. Your nervous system gets to relax. Uh, many people, you know, I, I say one of my beliefs is that the major reason for anxiety and all these mental health issues is obviously is the nervous system, but it's because uh, your nervous system is not being fed. So your nervous system is not being fed because you're in fight or flight so so much not only are you keeping it awake making it stay awake it's like you attempting to make someone stay awake you know they they whenever they get a chance they're gonna fall asleep <clears throat> but adrenaline has been going through your body so much because you're in constant fight or flight you're constantly stressed um you know that uh, that adrenaline that's why it's keeping you up at night that's why you can't sleep at night things like that um, but, but I, I've seen, I've heard of this happen. I've seen it happen so many times and, and we know that the, the main reason, like I was saying, is usually a deficiency in minerals. Our soils are depleted in minerals. That's scientifically proven. You can go ahead and look this up. Um, the food that we eat today is mineral, mineral depleted. Even if you eat organic food. That, that is why I, I, I still to this day, like if you're so, if you've done the research so much <clears throat> on health and you want to eat healthy and, you know, you find that buying organic food is probably, you know, the healthiest thing for you. So you end up spending so much money, money that you probably don't, you can't afford. So either one of two things, you're getting into debt over, uh, um, a liability because buying food is not a is not an asset so one thing that we teach in philosophy is that you have to stop you never put a liability into credit you never finance a liability you never finance a McDonald's dinner. You never finance a, 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 a dinner at a restaurant. You don't finance food unless it's a complete emergency, of course, right? But you don't, you don't finance these things because, um, you know, un unless it's something small, it's necessary, right? If you don't have the money to go ahead, you're, you're building, you're, you're starting, you know, to, to come up, of course. Yeah, no, I got, I tell, I can tell you a million stories of a million people, uh, that have come from nothing to something. And, you know, they, they, you can't mention the word tuna to them because they've eaten it so much. They're sick and tired of it. Don't, don't ever mention the word tuna around them or, or rice and beans or, or, or rice and beans and chicken. Like they've eaten it so much constantly because they were trying to build their business they were trying to become somebody or or, or turn nothing into something that they had to go ahead and reduce their their bill on food so if you're doing that that's understandable but people who don't have the funds and are buying this expensive food spending their whole paycheck 
at Whole Foods. Nothing against Whole Foods. I think it's a great store. Um, it has many delicious things. I've been there. Um, and, but if you're going there because you want to buy organic, um, let me break, let me tell you some bad news. You're not doing yourself any, any, any new favors by going to Whole Foods or any other or place they sell organic food, organic fruits, organic grass fed beef, whatever. You're not doing yourself any favors because the only reason that you're buying organic food is because the minerals. You think it's because of GMOs and because you know they're they're you know they're vaccinating these cows so much so they could blow up. That's a per a cost too, but selenium is one of the best detox out there. We teach about oxygen, put an extra oxygen in your body so your body can constantly cleanse itself. Fasting has been used for thousands of years throughout history um, to cleanse the body. Even then, people were fasting. Even in times of Jesus, where everything was 100% full organic, people were fasting. And that's, the soil had plenty of, um, of, of minerals. And people were still fasting then. So it tells you that, you know, imagine now that there's more chemicals and there's more things and, and in the air, there's pollution everywhere. You have to go. You have to go ahead and and cleanse yourself constantly. It has to be an ongoing thing. Two things that you have to go ahead and do every single day. That's take selenium, a hundred percent whole food selenium, and to take uh, find a way to get extra oxygen done in your body. Uh, depending on the actual formula or the way you do it, then you do it for a certain amount of time, twice or at least once a year which is would be a cleanse if you want to say that um, the cheapest form that that's out there uh, this is not advice of any kind this is just me giving my opinion this is not advice of any kind do not expect anything from the work of others do not expect profit from the work of others we don't do that this is just me expressing myself <clears throat> it may you know I'm not trying to give you advice so don't listen to me. I'm just giving my, I'm expressing myself. Um, the, the best way, the, the, the cheapest way that I've seen out, uh, the cheapest way of getting extra oxygen in your body that I've seen out there uh, ha has been through the 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide therapy, oxygen therapy. So basically you get 35% uh, hydrogen, 35% uh, food grade, 35% food grade, 35% food grade, food grade hydrogen peroxide. Uh, and basically you get an eight, eight ounce of distilled water, distilled water, distilled water, eight ounce of distilled water, and you put three drops and you take it on an empty stomach three times a day. The the next day you put four drops three times a day. The next day you put five drops, six drops, seven drops. Then you go on and on and on until you hit 25 drops. Now, depending on your situation, you know, um, if you have a certain condition, um, you don't want to put extra oxygen in your body so you can help your body heal. Well, not cure, heal. Um then at that point you stay at 25 drops um, for up to six months, up to six months, um, <clears throat> uh, until, or until your condition is, is the, the condition has been healed or, or cured by your medical the physicians or whatever they recommend because it's them. It's, it's them that cure the disease. Only they can cure it. Uh, oxygen is just help. We just advise you to go ahead and um, we don't advise you. It's just advice that you stay on that 25 drops three times a day for until your condition is healed. And usually uh, for most conditions, it's, it seems that uh, it it. it don't last longer than six months. Usually it's around six months or less. Um, so, yeah, I mean, put an extra oxygen in your body uh, and selenium. Um, 
doing the oxygen cleanse. So doing that, for example, you go up to 25 drops, stay there for two weeks, then start coming down 24 drops, 23 drops until you stay, until you get to three drops. It is recommended for three drops, three times a day to be the dose that you would stay on, quote, forever. You can. Um, but I mean, who you already, you already have enough with, you know, you're already doing, you have to take 100% whole food chromium. You have to take 100% whole food selenium. You have to take 100% whole food magnesium. You have to take 100% whole food uh, silica. You have to take the Kanjas tea every single day. Because of how depleted our foods are, you have to take them every day for you to be healthy and happy. You have to take them every day because there is no way that you're getting enough minerals or enough nutrition from the foods you're eating. I don't care if you eat five times a day. You're not getting enough nutrition. It's all mineral depleted. That's, that's the main thing. I've seen people take the minerals that I'm telling you every single day. In one month, you don't recognize them. Remember 100% whole food chromium, what it does? For, for those of you that don't remember, let me refresh your memory. <clears throat> Whenever you eat food, your body turns that food into glucose. In other words, sugar. It does that, uh, and now that takes a lot of fuel to do. And the fuel that your body uses for specifically that is oxygen. So you have the oxygen that you needed to breathe and so forth and stay alive. But you have uh, another amount of oxygen that the body uh, has to go ahead and use either for one or two things. Either to digest your food. All the oxygen goes to your stomach when you eat so it can help digest the food. That's the fuel. Or two, cleanse your body. That's the only two. That's the main two reasons why that extra oxygen is stored in your body. So you have like a reserve. And it's either, usually it's to go ahead and digest your food. All the oxygen goes into your stomach. Not all of it. But most of it goes into your stomach to help digest the fuel, uh, the food. That's the fuel. If you don't eat, that extra oxygen stays in your body. And at a certain point, it's, you know, it starts cleaning up. So you have, to, I mean, think about it. Even if it, it, they did fasting, even in Jesus' times, in, 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 in Old Testament times, like, they still needed to cleanse themselves. Because that's the one thing that we see that fasting does. Is that it helps you clean, you know, detox yourself from, 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 you know, from being unclean, you know, from all the toxins in your body. That's the main thing. And the way we see that by uh, that, that the way the reason that happens is by ha getting that extra oxygen instead of having it used by your stomach to go ahead and digest the food, it is used, you know, your. your your body uses it so it can go ahead and um, basically uh, cleanse your body, start cleansing. So nothing leaves the body unless it's combined with oxygen. So the two best cleanses and the two things that you should be taking daily should be selenium and oxygen. If anything, you have to take at least selenium. Because oxygen, I mean, even by just doing some, you know, going online, going on YouTube and looking up, you know, breathing techniques or increasing your oxygen, you can do certain, um, uh, you can do certain just simple breathing exercise and you can increase your oxygen. I'll give you one right now. I want you to go ahead and imagine that you have a feather right, on, right here, right under your nose. If you look at babies... And how they breathe, they breathe through their stomach. We, I don't know how, but we ended up breathing through our chest more than our stomach. If you see a, a baby sleep, you'll see that their belly goes up and down, up and down. And that's because 
they're breathing through their stomach and, and they're getting extra oxygen. I want you to pretend you have a feather on here. And that and breathe enough that you're getting enough, you know, oxygen in, but don't blow it out, neither suck it up, suck it in too much that that a feather would be able to fly off. If a feather is stuck here, pretend you have a feather and just breathe. Pretend as if you you're not try, you're you're not trying to take uh, you know if too much is is inhaled or too much is exhaled the the feather flies away. No, you want to keep that feather in there. You'll start noticing how you're breathing through your stomach. I've I've had people do this, like right in front of me. I tell them do this exercise, and they start doing it. And some start coughing. <clears throat> because they they it's been so long where they've really had a true inhale of oxygen of, of a good amount of oxygen it's been a while so we have to cleanse ourselves every single day and the best way to do that is by selenium we can go ahead and increase oxygen uh in our bodies it's very easily to do by some couple breathing techniques you can go ahead and increase it i definitely suggest uh, a cleanse you know an oxygen cleanse there's many therapies out there um, like i mentioned from hyperbaric chambers to hydrogen peroxide to ozone therapy um, to the 35 percent food grade hydrogen peroxide so many therapies out there so many uh it's just up to you and you know the other ones and this is another thing. The other ones um, are very time consuming and they're they're expensive. So I don't see why you would go ahead and do the other things. If you can do this one for pennies on the dollar. Um, but it's up to you, of course. I mean, if you have the money, if you have the resources, yeah, of course. If you have time, then definitely go ahead and, you know, do uh, several sessions of uh, prepared cha uh, oxygen chamber uh, therapy. Um, in Texas, I know it's in Texas is it, it's is is well accepted. Uh, in other states, I don't know so much, but I, you can talk to your doctor and more on that. But just look up oxygen therapy uh, consultations in your city. You should find some, but. Uh, we can go ahead and, and get extra oxygen in our bodies just by doing some basic therapies, right? But selenium, we cannot create. Selenium, we have, we are dependent on, we are dependent on the earth to give us that selenium. And that selenium is needed to go ahead and cleanse our body. So you need to go ahead and, and take selenium every single day. So, like I said, just by taking those those couple of minerals that I mentioned, I've seen people change. Like they're in a, they're a different person. They're calmer. They're telling me that they are focused more. Uh, they don't think as many negative thoughts as they did. They're 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 calmer when you speak to them. You can understand them. They have a motivation to get better and so forth. Because why? Your body craves the sugar the glucose from the food you eat now in, in your body your brain sends a signal to your pancreas to create insulin insulin picks up the sugar in your blood takes it to the to the receptor of the cell chromium has to be there so chromium gets the sugar off the insulin and puts it inside the cell then atp or energy happens your brain uses more glucose or sugar than any other part in your body per capita that's true. So your brain, especially your brain, needs chromium. So taking 100 micrograms three or four times a day of chromium is the bare minimum. Three is the bare minimum. Four is to go ahead and start refilling, depending on how much you eat, right? You might need to take five because some people really like to eat. But one funny thing that you'll notice is that when you increase your chromium intake uh, you won't want would you you won't want to eat as much 
as as you may have at one point the reason why you're so hungry or why you had had hunger uh, hunger for so long is because the food is so mineral depleted it's asking you for more but now that you're getting your nutrients and then chromium also opens up your dopamine receptors uh, and your serotonin receptors so basically if it's something regarding sugar for example let's say i give the perfect example of cookies let's say somebody has a batch of cookies and they offer you some you may take one you may take two but then you'll be like no i don't i don't want any more like i one may be enough two may be enough but you you're not gonna over want to do it because you don't feel like it because you're satisfied that's what opening up your that's why chromium is so is so is the number one most depleted mineral and is the number one most needed mineral in the world um then selenium selenium cleanses is the best detox the best cleanser uh and then magnesium uh has over 300 bodily functions that it helps uh then you have silica silica there's a reason why Silicon Valley is called Silicon Silicon Valley. But the more silicon a chip has, the faster and more powerful that chip can be. The same thing with you. You have the best, the most greatest CPU up here. And it's called your brain. Your brain needs silica. Brain plasticity. It, it shows that it helps with with um with prevention of Alzheimer's. It helps with with um you know, uh, with with brain function, uh, Alzheimer's is the one thing that it has really. The the, the research shows that it's it, that's the one thing that it, it shows a lot of help and it helps with hair. Um, uh, if if you're a person that has a lot of body hair, like all over your body, you know how there's some hairy, really hairy, really hairy pe people. If you're one of those person, most likely you need a lot of silica, um, and most likely you have bald spots. You can start taking silica, and then you can go ahead and start. Um, you'll you'll start seeing your hair grow back. And if you take these, I've seen people's hair start turning from white to gray. And then to black. So I went from spiritual all the way to back to health. Crazy. But that's the type of talk that just I was led to talking today about. Um, you know, uh, getting into the word and plugging into the word. Plugging into the spiritual part of your life. Has to be something that you have to do also at least every day or at least every other day uh, because that's your power source that's your, your your phone charger you know if you do it every single day you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna be a hundred percent but then from there you're gonna start losing and losing and losing power until you're completely almost you know ran out you might shut off at any point right so you have to be plugged in at least every that's why church uh, you know the bible describes has made us go to to church at least once but you especially in the beginning you need it more than once um if you're spiritual if you really have never been spiritual you need it more than once um you need it every day and um you know being in a group uh, session would be best but if you know you can be you can you may not have that much time or you may not want to travel at the beginning you may have too much anxiety um the one thing i you know you could just go ahead and re-listen re-listen and re-listen to the philosophy um uh, part part the, the first part the spiritual part which is the 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 no condemnation part and the unrestfulness part. The no no more unrestfulness part. Those are the two things we cover, which is we take we we help you realize and take away your uh, help you realize that God takes away has taken away your condemnation, so you don't have to feel guilty when you've made an error. You don't have to feel guilty if you made an error. You don't have to feel guilty whenever you 
make an error. Um, you don't have to feel like you deserve something, or you like you de- you you don't like you deserve to pay. You need to pay something. You don't have to feel like like you're not being blessed enough because you've done this or that. Your your works are the ones that matter for you to get blessed. No, all that is gone. We we'll clear that off, and then and we teach that the root cause of all problems, marriage problems, financial problems, uh, family problems, um, work problems friend problems all types of problems the root cause is condemnation because condemnation creates fear fear creates stress stress <clears throat> creates everything all the problems and it goes back to the story of adam and eve what when they committed the sin the first thing they felt was what condemnation they felt condemnation why how they said, you know, we're naked. They felt condemned. And then they felt fearful because, you know, they were they, they were hiding when God was when God came to go ahead and 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 be with Adam and be with Eve. I, I, I think it said during the evenings he would come uh, to be with Adam and Eve. To share time with them. So they were fearful. Hiding from God. And then that's when. They told God the story. And he judged them. With stress. You should not eat. You shall now eat by the sweat of your forehead. That is why the story of Jesus. Is so important. That's why they put the crown of thorns. And that's why he was bleeding. The Bible says that before he was even captured. Um, when he was in the garden praying, if you guys ever seen the movie, The Passion of Christ, the first scene, like the first scenes where he's in the garden breathing, where he smashes the snake with his foot, that's a, that, that really happened. It, before he got captured, those that don't know the Bible, Jesus was in the garden and he was praying because he knew what was about to happen. So the Bible says that he was sweating Sweat mixed with blood. Medical industry tells us that this is that this does happen. This is real. Whenever you are in such a stressed environment, like you're so stressed, you're you, you're you're the little vein capillaries that you have on your forehead start to burst. So you start sweating. Sweat mixed with blood. It's real. So that's that's the story of Adam and Eve. The condom starts with condemnation, then it goes to fear, then it goes to stress, and then it goes to all the problems. Because once you shall not eat, you shall now eat by the by the sweat of your forehead, which is stress. And that's where, you know, now all the curses, all the problems started happening. Before when before they were blessed. So we believe that condemnation is the root cause of all problems. We've seen it help all kinds of problems. We've seen people that are in addictions. While they're in their, they're in their addictions, we ask them to, to say out loud, I'm still the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. I'm still the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. Somebody already paid for that sin. When you start to do that, at one moment, it may happen in a week, it may happen tomorrow, it may happen in a month. But if you continue being in the Word, at one moment, at one point, you will just stop. It's incredible. It's magical. Literally, I couldn't believe it when I first saw it. People just stop. We get we get all sorts of of of, of uh, testimonies and from all people, and and it, it's so amazing how people just say that suddenly they just just stopped they didn't wake up with no withdrawal they didn't wake up they just stopped they just didn't feel like doing it or they were they ended up doing something that right before they knew it they haven't taken that drug or that bad habit in a week and they didn't even notice health uh, health healing has happened 
suddenly people wake up with, you know, they feel a warm sensation and, and then they go back to the doctors and the cancer is gone and the diabetes is gone, you know, healing happens. Is because when you know that you're not condemned, when you feel condemned, all the cells in your body says this person feels condemned. He wants to be punished. Let's do everything we can to punish this individual. That's why one of the main things that occurs is people get unhealthy. Or people get into bad habits. You know, so all these types of different testimonies, is, they're real. So we believe that. And then we also believe in the unrestfulness part. You have to be at rest. When you feel condemned and you feel like it's you that have to go ahead and, and repay all the sins you've done. And it's you that has to go ahead and do all the work. You're not at peace. You're not at rest. The Bible says that our only the, our only work, the only thing we must do to work, the only thing we must work on or, 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 or work with is to be at rest. That's our only work that we should do is to be at rest. When you're at rest, motivation automatically happens. Action automatically happens. More, uh, ideas automatically come. Uh, and so forth. It, these things occur, guys, automatically. Without you even thinking about it. You know, 3M, um, the, the, the little post-it notes, um, their executives used to give uh, their, I mean, the, 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 the company used to give their executives uh, blue sky in time, which basically meant that they would get one, two hours, uh, a day to just go ahead and sit in the grass and look at the sky and just relax, have nothing to worry about, just chill. And in one of these blue sky times that they called, some guy came up with the idea of posted notes. How, e how easy of an idea and it made so smart. Just put a little bit of glue on top of a little thing and just post it. Ideas come. You 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 start seeing promotions. You 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 you. The Bible says that once you believe in Jesus Christ and you accept Him as your Lord and Savior, two things will occur. One, you will go ahead and have an abundance of grace. And then you will have the gift of righteousness. You will have an abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. When somebody gives you a gift, you don't have to work for it. It is given to you. If somebody gives you a gift, please don't work for it. If I give you a check of $10,000... If I give it to you and I say, I'm giving it to you, please don't tell me what, what, what can I do for it? That's an, you'll be insulting me if I give you something and you tell me that I, you need to pay for it. The Bible tells us that two things will, will occur by right, by universal law. Two things will come upon your life. Once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And that is all that it takes. You have to believe in it. Say it with conviction. And that's belief. And abundance that you'll receive abundance of grace. So two things. An abundance of grace. What's an abundance of grace? That means you have favor. You have the gift. Of an abundance of grace. You have favor. That means that you can start as the lowest position in your job. And in record time. In a year. You could be at the very top. I've seen it happen. It happened to me. It happened to me. 
I was a regular rep, the lowest level that you can get. Within a year, I became a manager. A year, a year. And the testimonies, the DMs, the emails that we get from all these people that do this and go over the actual spiritual part of philosophy over and over again every single day. They say, man, you don't know how my anxiety has gone away. I'm, I'm finally at peace. I can finally be at rest. Like, and you don't understand, I'm suddenly getting calls from people I haven't talked to in so long or from companies that I haven't dealt with in so long. And suddenly they're telling me, hi, Mrs. Hi, Mr. You know, we just, um, you know, we want to go ahead and make sure that this is your address because we're about to send you a $1,500 check because... <clears throat> we been we we when you had us as an insurance we actually took a um you know they did an audit and they actually took a hundred dollars extra every single time you made a payment they get they're getting this call they get calls from people they haven't heard in so long and, and and are given opportunities hey man do you still work in in in, in that no i don't work in that oh, really because i really need this work done do you know anyone oh Maybe I do. I could probably get you connected. And then they, you know, be like, yeah, man, go ahead. And, you know, uh, you know, and, you know, the deal can go through you since I know you. And, uh, you know, all you have to do is just, you know, try to get get them to give me a good price. And then, you know, from there, you'll get you'll get a cut. You become the middleman. So you get an opportunities out of nowhere. You're getting people calling you. For jobs, offering you two times, three times of what you used to get paid. You're getting, so people are winning lotteries. People are getting, if, if money, and I say it in money terms because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's an actual thing that can be measured. But forget that. Like, that's the least. The real wealth is mental health. Be at peace of mind. Be in peace of mind that. Steve Jobs had all the money in the world and he couldn't he couldn't survive his cancer. We're getting people who are given such an amount of time to live suddenly saying, hey, it's in remission. People that have done uh, uh, a certain crime or something. <clears throat> Suddenly everything is being overturned. People are winning settlements. People, everything's going their way because you have an abundance of grace. That means you're under the favor of God. That means that if there's someone and then there's you, God chooses you over that someone because you righteously, by universal law, Basically, all it means is that you can be in the presence of God. You know how, how Moses couldn't do that? He even, God even told Moses, Moses, take your sandals off. The, the ground that you step on is holy ground. Remember the high priest in the Old Testament? He had to go inside, I think, once a year uh, into the tabernacle. And they, they would put a rope around their leg because... If they weren't, if that year they weren't holy enough, God was, God will strike them dead. So the only way to get the body out is by pulling it. So they'll give the body a certain amount of time. And by that time, if they don't come out, they'll pull the body out. The high priest, remember? Now, somebody already paid it for you. Somebody already paid, you know, your cancer for you. Somebody already paid your debt for you. Somebody already paid your relationship for you. Somebody already paid your marriage for you. And sometimes, hey, it, it, it may be that that certain person may not be for you. God may, you know, may, you know, may find that 
your life would probably be a lot better if you stayed single for a while. You know? But you'll start realizing that. You don't have to convince yourself. See, that's the whole point. It's like... It never comes out the way we expect, but exactly what we needed. So you, nothing will ever happen to you in a way that you, you feel like, oh, I have to make it work this way. I have to make myself accepted this way. No, it just happens. All you have to do is stay plugged in into the word. People who hear our spiritual part of philosophy over and over again, we get testimonies all the time. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and try it yourself. Go ahead. I I I give you a seven day uh, uh, challenge. For seven days, go through the philosophy, spiritual part, the spiritual side, over and over and over again for seven days. I bet you in three days you'll see something occur that it's you won't believe it. But the first thing you have to do is you have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's something I can't make you do. You have to do that by yourself. I'll point you to the door, but it's up to you to walk it. If that's not you, and if you don't want to do that, that's completely fine. That's your decision. I don't have nothing and I don't, you know, God said that not this, the word God will not, it, not everybody will be saved. You know, I'm just trying to show you the way that I've seen it work. Yeah, I've seen life work. So no matter what situation you're in, especially if you're in a bad situation, this is the time when you really need spirituality. I, I, um, <laughs> I guarantee you, I'd give you that challenge. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you have to say it truthfully. Um, just by saying that, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, amen. That's all. That's all you have to do. And you're in the family. You'll be given the ring. The ring in the Old Testament was your the credit card, was the visa, was the MasterCard. If you wanted something, all you had to do is put your ring on the on the clay tablet, and they would have your signature, and then that person will go and charge your family, like royalty. They would charge your family. You, just punched in the, 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 the ring and the cow can go with you or the house can go with you or the food can go with you or the cart can go with you, whatever. The horse can go with you, whatever you want it. If you had that ring, just punched in the clay tablet and it's yours. The Bible says that you'll be given the ring, the, the, the story of the prodigal son. Particle son <clears throat> had a wealthy dad, and basically it was, I believe it was the eldest son. He said, I can't wait for you to die so I can have my inheritance. 